Most people are doing shift work nowadays. They're just on their phone or they're on their computer. And I'm not going to argue that's, you know, you shouldn't. Uh, many times that's me as well. And I could, we did a whole episode on shift work, but I'll try and summarize some of the key points. You want to have your cortisol elevated early in the day and then subside across the day. That's the ideal pattern of cortisol release. Cortisol is a great thing when it's high and then tapers off from early day into the later day. It's a bad thing if that cortisol peak is shifted late. That cortisol peak is coming every 24 hours. You don't have a choice. Question is, is it gonna be early day or is it gonna be late day? Late day cortisol is, peaks are associated with depression and anxiety. This was done by my colleague David Spiegel and the great Robert Sapolsky at Stanford. Um, the point here <laughs> um, is that Having that cortisol peak early in the day sets you up for mood focus and alertness, immune system function in a really, um, in a really great way. Shift workers have a serious problem, which is that late peaks in cortisol are kind of paramount in all forms of shift work. And so what you need to do is to put yourself ideally in lighting conditions that limit the amount of blue light coming in at night or when you're doing that shift work. <laughs>